Hello there and welcome to South Wales. Beautiful, fourth call. Strangling myself. Um, I can't wait to get started. Catch me in a minute. So today we've come out to um, Port Call. Uh, beautiful little town this, I've just had a little walk around, it's, it's stunning. Um, I'm loving all these rocks, you may not see with the sun shining there. Uh, but what I've really come for is the bit of wave action, jumping up onto the lighthouse. The, uh, there's little pools down there, there's a little bit of a beach. So I will go and find the composition shortly and get some photos. Then I'm probably going to move around the other side of the lighthouse just to see if I can find something if we do get a sunset. The forecast is to cloud over later, so I don't think we will get the sunset here. If not, I'll come back tomorrow. It's, it's only a two hour drive for me, this is. Probably come tomorrow or the day after and just to catch a sunset. Uh, but I can literally find a composition today while I'm here, do a little recce for this sunset. So I know exactly where to come when I come back again. But I say what I'm really after is, is just see the waves just breaking and just splashing up onto the rocks. The shot I've got in mind is literally the water running off the rocks. So I'll probably shoot that at about a tenth of a second. Catch some waves coming in, probably two, three, maybe four waves coming in, and then just merge them into Photoshop. Uh, if I'm catching a little bit, bit of wave action jumping up towards the lighthouse, that would be even better. Um, I think it's a bit early yet. The sun's uh, high tide is at about 8 o'clock. I won't be stopping here that long, plus it'll be dark. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty much... The tide is coming in now, just started. Low tide was at 1.30, I think it's about 3 o'clock now. Um, so yeah, we're going to head down to the beach here, to these rocks, and let's see if we can catch something. So my first little composition, I am, I'll just turn around to show you where I'm standing, I am actually on a clump of rocks. I'll just try and show you the camera, back of the camera, there's the back of the camera. Uh, that is my composition, pretty much. I'm just going to take a couple of shots now. I've just done a, a little focus stack. Literally focus there, focus in the middle, focus on the rocks. Well, the big rock underneath the lighthouse. And what I'm going to do now, while I'm focused on the lighthouse, I'm going to just time the waves and get probably three, four, maybe five waves um, all coming in at different different positions just to uh, just to add some drama into the shot. Like this now, the waves there now, absolutely gorgeous. Another one coming in. 
So yeah, I'm going to get off and I'm going to uh, try and catch a couple of these waves. The way I like to catch the waves is I'll, I'll either put a shutter remote on, a bit you got, a bit yeah, and just stand and watch and trigger the remote, or I'll just ride the shutter button. Um, and then as I say, I'll just blend these together in Photoshop, and they should look stunning. Let's have a go. Well, I've just found out the hard way that the tide comes in here quite fast. Um, I was just down by this rock down here, and I've got a little bit wet. So, just packed up quick, and I'm heading up. I'm going to uh, want to go and have a little walk up by the lighthouse if I can. The waves are getting bigger now. The tide's really coming in. So. I'm going to have a little walk up by the lighthouse and see what's going on the other side. Um, I may also I just turn around a little bit. I may just maybe get on the big rocks up there again. Well, I'll just took my first composition. Um, the waves are getting bigger and bigger as we speak. And I think we're going to get some big waves shooting right up onto the lighthouse. Um, the waves are just getting massive now. Just look at this business. Watch this big wave coming in now. Splash. That's just at the wall now. I just splashed halfway up the wall on the lighthouse. So I think I'm going to head up on these rocks where I was for my first composition. And I fancy some, some waves hitting this big rock, the, uh, the wall for the lighthouse. Uh, we have got some nice light onto the lighthouse as well. So this could turn out to be a really good day. I'll catch you up here before I get wet again. So I've come back up on the rocks here. I've just switched over, but I switched over first. To the 24 to 70 and I started shooting at 70 mil um, then decided to put on me 70 to 200 uh, just to fill the frame up and get a vertical shot of the waves crashing up the uh, wall of the lighthouse uh, there's a big wave just coming in now so you may see this shortly just look at that business the waves I mean the tide doesn't it's in toy tide until um, I think eight o'clock um, so, I haven't checked the time now, I haven't got a clue what it is. I think in another couple of hours, maybe towards sunset, it is looking good for the sunset as well, to be honest. Just look at that business. Look at these waves. Incredible. It's not even a, a, a windy day. The, the waves are just, just look at that business. Straight up to the top of the uh, wall at the lighthouse. Um, I want to move around so I'm just looking and I'm thinking I could do with being just turn around literally just over the back here so I'm now going to move see if I can break my neck on these rocks these rocks are beautiful let me just show you these rocks look at all the detail in these it's absolutely stunning um, yeah I'm going to move and let me turn this out of the sun. I'll catch you in a minute. I've just moved round on the rocks and uh, got a nice line there with the waves coming in. Just look at this business. A couple of waves have actually hit the top of the wall. Um, I would imagine on a stormy day here, this would be incredible. What I've noticed as well, as a wave hits the wall and recedes back out, if another wave is coming in, like this one here, get ready, oh, big splash straight up, incredible. There's some, there is some, well, the waves have got to be about 15 foot tall, maybe 20, look at this business, I'm missing it. Um, I'm probably going to fill a memory card up, um, which is quite rare for me. Uh, I don't take that many photographs normally, but this, I'm just trying to catch the action and I'm just riding the shutter button. Uh, my settings are f11 because I'm just focused on the wall underneath the lighthouse. Um, 
all I need is the lighthouse sharp. The waves hitting the, hitting the wall will be sharp. Um, as the light drops down, I, I may come down to F8 or I may up the ISO um, just to keep a shutter speed. I want to try and keep a shutter speed at least 3 twentieth of a second just to catch that wave action. So, oh, look at this business. Just look at that, incredible. Absolutely incredible. As I say, I've got to come back here on a, on a windy day. I think the waves will just be magnificent. Um, yeah, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Betsy's down here. Not a fan of the rocks. There was a bit of beach she was on earlier, but uh, now the tide's come in, she can't access the beach, so she's tiptoeing over these rocks. I don't think I likes the, uh, the little barnacles or, or what. But, uh, I think it's a bit rough on her feet. So when I get off, I'm going to uh, get a few more photos, then I may head back to the car and get a boy to eat and come back just before sunset. The sun is setting, I thought the sun would set, uh, as I'm looking at the camera now, out to sea, I thought it would set more round to my left, which is actually moving up to the uh, right, which means towards sunset, the lighthouse and the wall should be lit up absolutely beautiful. We must be looking pretty much south from here, the composition looking at the lighthouse from here must be south. I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes, then I'll head to the car, I've got a sandwich in the car, so I'll get a boy to eat. And then I'll come back out. While I'm, while I'm walking off, I shall try and find somewhere, maybe, I think this is going to be the best spot, to be honest, for the waves going up. I'm just going to hope that the cloud in the south does turn a little bit orange or pink. Um, but yeah, the light out should light up orange if the uh, conditions stay as they are. So, catch you shortly. Just had something to eat and a drink of pop. Come back out to where I was earlier, and this is what I've got to contend with now. The swell has puck up incredibly. Um, I'm switched over now to. I've got my 70 to 200 on. I'll just show you. That's my composition. It's a little vertical, and I'm literally just going to ride the shutter button. And as the waves shoot up the wall to the lighthouse. Uh, I'm just going to run the shutter button and catch them. Uh, there are big waves crashing up all around me, so I may not have too long here. Uh, the toy, say, another two hours yet, really, two and a half hours. So it's going to be pretty high. I am just waiting. I think now that the waves that are hitting the, the wall with the lighthouse. They don't seem as fierce because they're actually riding up there. I think them it's all over the rocks, the, the tide is, so there's nothing for it to crash off. 
I have just seen two waves come up while I was just setting up and uh, they went over the top of the wall so I will just ride and just try and catch some shots um, there's one it looks looks amazing it's incredible to watch this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the sun is just coming out as you can see it is lighting up all down the wall and, and the lighthouse um, all I need is for the little bits of cloud on the horizon just to go pink and I'll, I'll be well happy with these photographs um, if not then I'll probably turn around let me just show you to the west there's a lot of cloud out to the west so I will probably frame up a composition and just get a sunset as well while I'm here um, but yeah my goal is to get a little bit of colour just on that little bit of cloud that's behind the uh, just behind the lighthouse now it's only a bit of cloud it's not much could do with this big big heavy cloud that's just to the west right over where it is but it's, it's too clear so yep I'm gonna put the GoPro down and I'll try and time some shots um, as you can see the lighthouse is lit up the wall is lit up the waves are lighting up um, I'm just looking out to sea now to try and see the waves coming in we're getting the better waves just as a wave comes in and rolls up the wall as that rolls back out again if another one is coming in at the same time we're getting some really big bursts There's only a few not many um, it does look incredible I'll just turn here just show you here look at this absolutely incredible as I say uh, I've just checked swell out looking at it it looks it looks quite dodgy uh, the swell is is quite tall it's about 10 meters I think as well so the tide is coming up and it's rushing in almost to my feet now um, you've got to put safety first so I think within the next five minutes I'm gonna to have to move and what I might do is give this a miss oh uh, as you can see we're getting close now so I think literally it's time to pack up here and move what I might do is just move around the coast a little bit just behind me and I'll just concentrate on the sunset I think we'll get a good sunset out there I'll just turn around and show you just to see if you can see it look at that it looks stunning yep I think it's time to pack up so let me just watch this one wave oh it didn't happen so I'm going to get off I'm going to uh, pack up here and move before I get swept off the rocks so I've moved round um, it was just getting too sketchy on the rocks uh, the swell is picking up 30 foot swell now 10 meters so it's, it's too dangerous the sky is looking fantastic you'll probably see it on the GoPro what a sky it forecast um, cloud on the horizon um, I didn't think I'd get this I'm just waiting for the toy just to come onto the rocks in front of me now uh, just so I can catch the water just receding off I think I think probably only got about 15 minutes left now before the sun hits the horizon um, so yeah if you like the uh, the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe it just helps the channel to grow uh, and until next time here's the photos before I go just look at this business absolutely incredible catch you soon here's the photos